Hi everyone. In the previous episode, I showed how to display the results from a service call. Today, I'm going to change the view to use a WinJS control to display the results, but in an Angular style. So let's close the app. First, I need to add a JavaScript file containing the Angular directives and attributes for WinJS. You can find this uh, project on GitHub. I will be adding a link to uh, the project in the comments below. Then I need to add a reference to this file in my default.html file. Script equals js lib and let's close this so um, now i can use the directives and attributes in my in my file um, but i have to let angular know um, to use this uh, this module so i can do that in my config file Just add WinJS um, in here. Now I can use um, the references, uh, the directives and attributes from uh, for, from the Angular WinJS project. So let's add the uh, Win control. Uh, let's list view. We don't need this anymore. So let's. Um, we need an item data source, which will equal the data object, which is going to contain the results from the from the service call. And to make sure it's full screen, I'm setting the height to 100%. You might want to, to use uh, CSS uh, to do this, but to keep it simple in this demo, I'm just adding the height to, to, to control directly. We need an item template. Let the list view know how to uh, render the, the, the item. And in here, we use some HTML markup. Go ahead and style again here. Oh, margin, let's say 25 pixels. In here, I want an image. I can use the uh, regular Angular attributes in here. The every item um, that is rendered through this template is named item automatically, and it contains some data. And this is the data that um, is returned by the service. It's uh, basically each item, and I. Image URL and to be safe, let's specify the width. I also want to display the title item dot data dot title there. And now I should be able to run this. And there we go. Instead of a regular list, I'm having a, a grid view, uh, uh, which is the default 
for the Angular list. The WinGS list, I mean. In the uh, the next episode, I'm going to um, refactor the code a little. Uh, I want to use the uh, Angular uh, view uh, mechanism and, and routing mechanism to navigate uh, through the app. Uh, which means we need to change some things around. Um, well, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye.